In the Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 13 warns us of the perilous times to come. It speaks of people being lovers of themselves, money, and pleasure rather than lovers of God. As we look around today, we see these words coming to life. The warnings from centuries ago resonate with our current reality. The scriptures are clear. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. The evil that was once hidden is now in plain sight. From our leaders to our entertainers, no sphere is untouched by this moral decay. Today's events make us question the ethical and moral fabric of our society. The prophecies are more than just ancient texts, they are reflections of our current world. As we dive deeper into these issues, the connection between scripture and modern-day occurrences becomes even more evident. The news today is filled with stories of greed, betrayal, and violence. We are witnessing a rise in malevolence that parallels the biblical description of the end times. From corporate scandals to political corruption, the manifestation of evil is widespread. It's not just isolated incidents, but a systemic issue that spans across various sectors. The recent assassination attempts on political leaders are alarming. Such acts are not merely political maneuvers, but a sign of deeper moral corruption. Leaders are now targets, and the sanctity of human life is secondary to political ambition. This pervasive evil is not restricted to one part of the world. We see it in the systemic injustices and the blatant disregard for the rule of law. The moral compass that once guided society is now lost. Political leaders have always been in the limelight, but recent events have taken a dark turn. Assassination attempts on one figure are becoming more frequent. These attempts are not just against a individual, but against the very fabric of democratic governance. They signify a breakdown in societal norms and respect for leadership. One such notable incident is the attempt on the life of a prominent leader earlier this year. The attack was planned and brutal, leaving the nation in shock. It was not just an isolated event, but a reflection of the growing discontent and lawlessness. This act of violence underscores the perilous times we are living in. Security measures have been heightened, but the fear remains. These attempts are a stark reminder of the lengths to which people will go for power. The sanctity of leadership is under threat, and the consequences are dire. The rise in such incidents is alarming. Hollywood has always been a place of glamour and allure. But behind the glitz and glamour lies a dark side. The entertainment industry is rife with stories of exploitation, abuse, and moral corruption. These stories, once whispered in the shadows, are now coming to light. The recent expose of various Hollywood figures has been shocking. These revelations are not just about individual misconduct, but a systemic issue. The industry that entertains millions is also a breeding ground for perversion and depravity. The veil has been lifted, and the reality is disturbing. The tales of abuse are not limited to one or two individuals. It's a widespread issue that points to a deeper moral failing. The industry that shapes cultural narratives is itself a victim of the very evils it portrays. The disconnect between the on-screen heroism and off-screen villainy is stark. Corruption in the Music Industry Sean Diddy Combs The music industry, much like Hollywood, is not immune to corruption. The recent revelations involving Sean Diddy Combs have sent shockwaves through the industry. The tales of manipulation, exploitation, and moral decay are appalling. The industry that produces art is also producing scandal. Sean Diddy Combs, a figure synonymous with success, is now at the center of controversy. The accusations against him are serious and highlight a culture of abuse. These revelations are not just about one individual, but point to a systemic issue within the music industry. The manipulation and exploitation are not new, but the scale of it is shocking. The industry that thrives on creativity is also a hotbed for perversion. The stories emerging are a stark reminder of the moral bankruptcy that exists. The need for sunlight is urgent and undeniable. Perversion and Moral Decay in Entertainment The entertainment industry, encompassing both Hollywood and the music sector, is rife with perversion. The stories that have come to light are just a glimpse into a world of moral decay. 
the industry that shapes cultural norms is itself deeply flawed. The need for a moral reckoning is evident. The recent revelations have exposed a culture of exploitation and abuse. The industry's glamorous facade hides a darker reality. The tales of perversion are not just isolated incidents, but a reflection of a systemic issue. The moral decay is pervasive and alarming. The impact of this moral decay is far-reaching. It influences the narratives and values that are propagated through entertainment. The industry that has the power to shape minds is itself in need of a moral overhaul. The disconnect between on-screen values and off-screen realities is glaring. The urgency to address these issues has never been greater. The broader implications of these revelations. The revelations of evil in politics and entertainment have broader implications. They are not just about individual misconduct, but a reflection of societal values. The rise of evil in these sectors is a testament to the moral decay that permeates our society. The need for a moral reckoning is evident. The impact of these revelations is profound. They challenge the very foundations of our ethical and moral beliefs. The institutions that we once revered are now under scrutiny. The need for accountability and transparency is urgent. The moral decay is not confined to one sector, but is a societal issue. The revelations also highlight the role of media in exposing these evils. The power of the press in bringing these stories to light is undeniable. The need for a free and unbiased media is more important than ever. The role of media in exposing evil is crucial in these times. The Role of Media in Exposing Evil The media has played a crucial role in exposing the evils of our time. The power of the press in bringing these stories to light cannot be overstated. The revelations of corruption, abuse, and moral decay are a testament to the importance of a free and unbiased media. The need for journalistic integrity is paramount. The stories the media have buried are shocking. The role of investigative journalism in uncovering these tales of perversion and corruption is crucial. The media has the power to hold individuals and institutions accountable. The need for a vigilant and ethical press is more important than ever. The impact of media revelations is far-reaching, but they hide things and lie with a bias. They don't challenge the status quo and bring about a call for change. The role of the media in exposing evil is its duty to serve the public. The need for transparency and accountability is evident in these times. The media's role in exposing evil is not just about reporting but about bringing about change. The Beginning of Greater Revelations The revelations of evil in politics and entertainment are just the beginning. The prophecy of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 13 speaks of greater evils to come. The current events are a glimpse into a world of moral decay. The need for vigilance and moral integrity is more important than ever. The current revelations are a wake-up call. They are a reminder of the times we are living in. The rise of evil is not confined to one sector, but is a reflection of societal values. The need for a moral reckoning is evident. The current events are just a precursor to greater revelations. The urgency to address these issues is undeniable. The need for ethical standards and moral values is paramount. The rise of evil is a reflection of the times we are living in. The need for accountability and transparency is crucial. Conclusion, God's work in exposing evil. The revelations of evil in politics and entertainment are a testament to the times we are living in. The prophecy of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 13 speaks of perilous times and we are witnessing them unfold. The rise of evil is a reflection of our societal values. The need for a moral reckoning is evident. But amidst this moral decay, there is hope. The exposure of evil is a sign that God is at work. The revelations are a testament to the divine intervention in our times. The need for accountability and transparency is crucial. The role of divine intervention in exposing evil is undeniable. The current events are a reminder of the prophecy of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 13. The rise of evil is a reflection of the times we are living in. The need for a moral awakening is urgent. The exposure of evil is a sign that God is at work. The revelations are a testament to divine intervention.